Uh, I'm Axel Reitzig. I'm the Robotics and Computer Science Coordinator at the Innovation Center in the St. Brain Valley School District in Longmont, Colorado. When students begin the SPARK program, they begin with MacroLab core lessons. Uh, these lessons are hands-on, hour-long standard space lessons that teach core concepts like percentages, time, and distance, and also an introduction to computer science and programming. MacroLab is a free educational app, and it comes with the Spheros, um, and it teaches visual programming with a really easy user interface, kind of like Scratch. And a macro is, you know, it's a list of commands to tell Sphero what to do. And MacroLab comes with preloaded macros to get you started, or you can write your own. When I open MacroLab, I can see the preloaded macros, and I'm going to look at the one called Rainbows. And here you can see it's just a list of commands that tell the Sphero to change its RGB values or its colors. So I can just hit the play button at the bottom and it will run through that macro. Or I can, I can explore each command line and maybe make some changes. So I'm going to choose line 2 and I'm going to change the color value in that command line. So I think I want it to be red and I want the delay to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to drag that over. If I really want to play around with this macro, I can use edit, and I can change the order of the command lines, um, and maybe even add a new command if I wanted to. And then I'll hit done, and I can run through that macro again. I'm now going to look at the spin in place macro. This is a good one to teach the basic concept of looping in programming. This one is going to repeat five times. Again, I can modify that line, um, so maybe I want it to repeat uh, 10 times. In any of these macros, I can add my own command line and modify it. So I'm going to hit the plus button, and here I see all the different options I've got for adding a command. So basically, these macros are pretty flexible, and they allow me to do a lot of different things. When students have finished the macro lab lessons, um, they can move on to more advanced lessons using OR Basic. So OR Basic is a text-based language, uh, unlike macro lab, which is visually based. So if I look at crazy colors, which is like rainbows in MacroLab, I see that there are some similarities in that or basic builds on concepts already introduced in MacroLab. But I can see too that it's different. Um, again, it's text-based. Students learn that syntax really matters in text-based languages and programming. Um, they also have the chance to learn and apply higher level programming concepts, things like conditionals, variables, loops, so for those students who are wanting to learn more advanced programming and who want to have an introduction to real programming languages like Python, C++, and Java, um, or BASIC is a great stepping stone. The STEM challenges are multi-day activities where students work in teams to be creative problem solvers and design thinkers. And they learn to use Sphero as a tool to solve these challenges or they come up with their own challenges. This summer our students were learning about Mars, so we made the Sphero a Mars lander. So the students had to program it to complete a mission on the Mars landscape. One of the things I've noticed with students is that they really like to share the work that they do. So they're always raising their hand and calling me over to say, look what I've done, look what I've done. They're also very collaborative, um, which is part of that whole fun thing too. They want to share with the other students and they want to help the other students out. So if they're stuck on something, um, they'll call each other over and say, hey, you know, I don't know what to do now, do you have an idea? So the, the Spark lessons really foster that and really support a, a lot of fun, engaging, and rigorous learning.